Hey y'all, it's Amy and welcome to my joyful southern life. This video is a first in a series on cloth diapering. Yes, I am one of those cloth diaper obsessed moms. Um, I thought that we'd begin by showing you my changing table setup and then finish out with just a couple of items that I really like and have found um, just to work really well for us. So uh, without further ado, here is my changing table. Okay, so here is my bloodhound who's helping and completely in the way. There we go. Alright, so this is my changing table and kind of changing diaper station. Um, it really works great for us. I know that some moms uh, don't really like, like having a changing table. They don't really see the point. Um, just so it works better for them to be able to either have um, changing stations kind of throughout the house or you know, they just do it like on their bed or whatnot. And um, that's great. For us, we cloth diaper, so there's a little, we have just a little more pieces, so it's really helpful for us just to have one spot where we can go, and um, I also really like having the one spot where we can get them dressed and undressed and, you know, set them down if we need to um, put shoes on or jackets on or whatever. So, let's start up here at the top. So, I've got these wooden crates. These are actually crates that came from a craft store and they are recycled from my wedding. I use them for um, cupcake decorations and a cupcake display. So over here I have my all-in-ones. That's actually just about all of them. And then on top I have this awesome sign with a 1 Corinthians 13 on it. Um, just a great reminder about love and what the Bible teaches about it that I like to meditate on, especially when I'm rocking little man. And then over here, we have my wipes, the basket with the wipes. And then this right here is my wipe um, solution. It's called uh, Baby Bits. I found it on Amazon. It's 100% natural, um, made in the US, which is awesome. And it works great and I absolutely love it. And then over here, I've got um, diaper cream or rash cream, um, snappies the diaper liners which are really great for if I need to use any kind of diaper rash ointment or once Paul start, or once my baby starts eating solids um, we'll probably start using those a little bit more um, when we have to actually rinse out the diapers and then down here the actual table itself this is an old Jenny Lind uh, diaper um, changing table and we got it from my husband's sister and he just added some extra supports to it and just made it a little more sturdy so it's kind of starting to wobble a little bit. And then we spray painted it. We actually used a Rust-Oleum chalk paint, which I think turned out really good. And then this right here is just like a laminating, um, almost like a contact paper that we used to cover up the ugly brown uh, particle board. So obviously on top we've got the changing pad and then this great changing cover came in I think a pack of five from Amazon and it's great for saving the, um, the little cover and then if anything gets on it, poop or anything like that, just wash it and it comes clean. On this first, first shelf we've got my cloth diapering supplies, so I've got pre-folds and inserts on this side. And then covers go here. They're all in the wash right now. Doublers and then extras of my um, of the changing pad covers. Um, and then I keep usually keep one thing of uh, disposable wipes just in case I need it for whatever reason. And then behind there, I just tossed my diaper pail liners. We use the decor decor. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, diaper pail, which. Um, is designed for disposables, but it actually works really good for um, cloth as well. And it's a little small, so it does get filled up pretty quick, but that just keeps us accountable on doing our laundry and getting those diapers washed. And then down here, I've got my um, get out of the way. dogs in the way. <laughs> I've got bibs and burp claws these are awesome just muslim cotton burp claws i got off amazon it was a pack of 10 for i think ten dollars and um 
I ended up getting two of them because they just kept disappearing, so it's great. And then over here is just um, my little guy's pants and then a shoe that I can find. And then I got this rope basket that I use for his dirty clothes, which is a little messy right now. Got a little smushed, so I gotta set it back up. So yeah, so that is my diapering station. I'm gonna talk a little bit more about cloth diapers and everything in some later videos. I hope that that little tour of my changing table um, setup was helpful. Sorry, the video was a little weird. I did it on my phone. Um, and I'm still figuring out how all of this uh, works exactly. So there are a couple of items that I want to kind of give you guys a closer look and just tell you a little bit more about. So the first um, is the cloth wipes and the um, wipe solution spray that I use. So my cloth wipes um, look like these. So these are the Oh So Cozy uh, flannel wipes. They're great. I got these off of Amazon. Um, very inexpensive um, and totally, totally worth it. Uh, since we're already washing diapers um, every day or every other day, it's super easy to just toss the wipes in with the diapers and wash them. And then, um, you know, we're not uh, just throwing away wipes and increasing our uh, trash. So I um, highly recommend doing cloth wipes if you are cloth diapering. Um, also, I found it to be a little irritating um, using disposable wipes and then you have to throw the disposable wipes away and I have to put the, it's just too many steps, like just do the cloth wipes. You can wash it all together, it's good. Um, and then this is the solution. So um, this is a little spray bottle I got off of Amazon, super cheap. I think it was like a pack of five for like $4. Um, so super cheap. And this solution is baby bits. Um, so these are just these tiny little, teeny tiny little cubes. Um, and you basically just put them in the bottle with really hot water and it melts. Um, it's an all natural solution. It's got tea tree and lavender in it. Um, the ingredients are coconut oil, glycerin soap, plantain and chickweed herbs, virgin olive oil, pure essential oil of tea tree, and lavender. So, all things we can pronounce. And, um, yeah, 100% natural. Natural. These are made in the U.S. I got these off of Amazon. Um, if you don't have Amazon or um, if you aren't wanting to support them right now, then you can... Uh, go to their website and they have a place where you can find um, dealers or other stores that sell that. Also on Etsy, um, these are actually really popular, so a lot of people are making them. So you can find others on Etsy as well. I don't know how well they work. I'm sure they probably work just as good as these, but um, these are great. There's um, a lot of people, I think, will use these and then will actually store their wipes in um, a box or a jar with the solution. Um, the only thing with that is you have to use it within one to two days. Otherwise the wipes will start to get kind of gross. So we just use the spray bottle to so just spray down the, um, spray down the wipe and you're good to go. The other item that I want to show you, and this was a mom hack that I learned from someone that I follow on Instagram and I can't remember who it was, but, um, this right here is um, just it's actually a Lancome uh, makeup brush that um, I think I got for free in some promotional something or other. Um, but I use this to put the diaper rash cream um, if he needs it. Um, it works really well. It's really soft, really gentle. Um, it's a pretty cool little thing. And then um, if I need to wash it, I just take it into my kitchen sink, use a little Dawn, and it clears it, um, cleans it right up. Um, uh, they have like these little spatula looking things that you can get to put diaper, um, diaper rash ointment on and they work great. Um, but I have this laying around that I wasn't using it. So I like free. Um, and then I use the Burt's Bees Baby diaper rash ointment. Um, it works really, really good for my son. It's 40% zinc oxide. Um, thought that I would really like the Bedros butt paste, but it just didn't, didn't really do it for my son. Um, so a friend of mine recommended this, so I got this, it smells really good, works great. 
And then the last thing is, this is the changing pad cover that I have. Um, I got it off Amazon. This is Till You brand, and I can um, put links. I'm actually, I'll put links for, um, try to put links for all of these things uh, down below. So if you guys are interested, you don't have to search all over heaven. But um, this one works really, really well. I know that you can get, I think it's a Munchkin brand in um, Target and places like that. The only thing with that one is the edges tend to curl. Um, and I haven't had any issues with this. I don't know if it's just because it's finished. It's got a little ribbon edge um, all the way around it, but it lays perfectly flat the whole time. Um, having this at a five is really great. So I don't, I'm a, I think I might even have one that I've never actually used yet. Um, but it's just nice to know that you have them and you can take them anywhere. So you can throw it in your diaper bag if you want to. Um, if you change any other places around the house, just works really good. So these are just a couple items that I really like and I hope you guys enjoyed the video and that it was helpful. And we'll uh, keep an eye out for the rest of the videos in this series. We'll all dive deeper into different types of cloth diapers, the brands that we like, um, and so on and so forth. Have a great day, y'all. See you later.